my life philosophy? One sentence, be all you can be, that's it. Answer is yes. I'm like this when I wake up in the morning. I'm like this just before I go to bed. Part of the reason that I am the way I am is my military background. And my father didn't have a father. His father died just before he was born. So my dad decided, well, I didn't have a father and I served in two wars, so we'll raise you the military way. And he did. He was hard as nails. Everything I did, I didn't know I was doing this. I just did it. I used to be a competitive racquetball player. I used to run, get uh, my cardio. And then I used to see people out in the runs in the morning, and so I decided to uh, get better cardio the longer you run. So I hooked up with a woman named Mickey Gorman, who was the last woman to win the Boston Marathon in 1977. And so I used to train with her. She was a world-class runner. Everything I did, I'd always pick somebody that was world-class. But now the, the system and the values attached to them are so low. You know, I, I ran 10 miles in 65 minutes, not as a race, as part of a marathon, which is no big deal. But I use that as part of the training. And, and most of the guys that go into nutrition, most of the guys that try to get a six pack, most of the guys that do a fitness trade, they're just wasting time. Well, you to learn is that if you're gonna do it, find the very, very best you can and train with them. But, but now you've deluded yourself into thinking that you're something less than. You're not. You're not, I mean, find the very best. My system is based on finding a mentor, man or woman, that is where you want to be now. My system is based on affirmation, goal setting, high benchmarks, high accountability. You know, I went from a class of 330 to 13, people can't believe that, because I held the kids accountable. And I used to go down, and if you weren't prepared, you didn't go to a, come back to a class again not prepared. I would ridicule you, embarrass you, humiliate you. But you came to those fucking classes prepared the next time, or you dropped out. And now 12 of the 13 are all mega successful. I guess it worked, didn't it? I get letters from them all, all the time. Thanks for the beating, Mr. P. We've got teenage millionaires. We've got uh, 500 billion Davos in the desert. We got a guy who did three deals in a week. Six million, 50 million, 500 million. You can't hit it for six or hit a home run unless you're at the pace swinging. I'm still swinging. I mean, and these kids still swing. See, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Just because you don't agree with their various persuasions doesn't make them not high performance. Because I drive you. You know, a horse, when you ride a horse, it doesn't give up. It rides till it dies. I ride you till your fucking arms and legs fall off. And then I keep riding you. You know that Usain Bolt, he worked out until he threw up. You guys, if you get a migraine headache, you take off. If you got diarrhea, you take off. Do you realize on how many fucking levels that's wrong? It's not for everybody, kids. I'm doing this for selfish reasons. I am currently the greatest high-performance coach that ever was born, lived, or walked the planet. And the numbers speak for themselves. Nobody talks about numbers because nobody's produced any fucking numbers. I am the only human being that talks about numbers because I'm the only human being that's produced any of them. I do it because I'm selfish. When they talk about me when I'm dead, they're going to talk, right now they talk about Buddha, Allah, Christ, Dan. Then they're going to talk about Dan, Allah, Christ, Buddha. There is nobody that's even remotely close. I have are more brain cells than the whole fucking industry has, cumulatively, since Christ. The golden rule is, you know, be all you can be every day of your life. 